So what you're going to have to do is um, the heat sink with the MOSFETs comes with one strip of silicon, which is stupid because not only silicon got very poor thermal conductance properties, but also um, they're all connected. If one MOSFET gets hot, they're all going to get hot. So I found on eBay these mica pads, and mica has much, much better heat uh, transference capabilities and are individual pads. So, you know, there's less chance of if one gets warm, they're going to heat each other up. You will need some uh, thermal grease and you're going to get a bit messy here. So what you need to do actually is, I should have done this earlier, but take the cap off this. Yeah. The thermal grease um, will obviously ha assist. Are you, it's, it's one of those things you're going to have to get a bit of messy here. Right, let's go. So um, dollop a load of stuff here. Smear it along. Smear it along. There you go. And put a bit either side of the uh, mica pad. Now don't be frugal, just make sure you cover it all up. And then I put your MOSFET on there. And tack it down but don't go too mad with the tightening because you're obviously gonna have to solder this solder them all in but I would suggest attaching the MOSFETs first like this uh, before soldering it's gonna make life a lot easier for you um, the tube doesn't go very far unfortunately but it'll help keep them cooler okay so you put it on there and tighten up tack it down just tack it down slightly and when you've done them I'm replacing all 12 so cheap enough I found a good deal on uh, on um, Alibaba um, so I thought I'd replace all 12 and just proceed with all 12 I'll show you the next stage in a second um, one thing I also got was this desolder station workstation which is from Anesty and there are other recruitments this is a ZD915 uh, solder sucker which is absolutely brilliant um, it costs about 70 odd quid or something and it's phenomenal the, one of the best electro electrical and electronic purchases I've ever made so anyway um, get mica pads individual ones and um, tack these down slightly and when you have soldered them down you put some thermal grease on the other side as well and that will conduct it into the actual casing of the controller so it will actually um, make it much much cooler running than it was previously this thing is just absolutely ridiculous how the hell uh, manufacturers get away with one strip made of silicon to cool the MOSFETs down is beyond me but anyway I hope this has been relatively helpful and stay tuned there'll be the final part of this coming up very shortly thank you